What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back. Today's video is brought to you guys by Movavi, and we're taking a look at their awesome video editor 15 plus. And it includes all the different tools that you need, but it has a learning curve to the point where even a kid could probably get this down within 15 to 20 minutes. It has a bunch of effects, and there's a variety of extra packs that you can go and get. It has professional things like chroma keying and video stabilization and even beat detection and it works with 4K content pretty well. With that said, if you don't really need any of that and you just want to toss your vlog into here and quickly chop it up and then add a cool few effects on there because you don't want to deal with actually using After Effects or something of those sorts, you can simply download something like the Blockbuster pack like I did or even the technology set and you can buy these and they're awesome little sets that you can simply install in less than a second and they include 70 titles in this case 26 stickers backgrounds transitions audio files how cool is that now let's go ahead and launch this and see what it looks like so as you can see first off you got the quick video and this is basically where it kind of makes the video for you it's kind of like a little montage wizard then you also have the main edit video editing which is what i'm going to be focusing on and this is where you go and do some full-on editing now i'm gonna let's move that so what am I going to be using to edit? Well, I do aerial cinematography, and so we're going to be taking some of my drone shots, and we're going to be editing them today. So here is a music video that I shot. I'm simply going to import that into here, and then let's go find some more drone shots. And this is going to be 4K content, so let's see how it handles it. Now, with that said, give it a second. It does take a second to actually uh, process the footage and whatnot, but as you can see, let's see how well it plays. Smooth. Smooth, smooth, smooth. I'm going to lower the volume on that. We don't really need that right now. And so basic editing right here. To chop things up, you can right click and you could hit split. All right. So you can make some splits. And uh, the other thing is you can also go ahead and shorten it simply by dragging the clip. You can actually take this and drag it over here. And then you can shorten the clip uh, directly right here. So let's say I want to shorten this right here. Let's move it like that. And then let's say I want to put down the audio a little bit. You can take this bar and you can push it down a little bit. But we're not going to do that right now. But it is possible. Then of course, if you right click, you also have a variety of tools. So you have video properties, color adjustments, and all these show up. These are your basic things. So if you want to go and adjust the color, let's see. If you click it once, click the effect once, it will go and automatically do everything. You don't have to mess with any of the little bar things like you do in Premiere. You just take it and you drag it and drop, and it will do everything for me. As you can see, the look of it is completely different. Control Z versus control Y. This is the after and this is before. Personally, I think the after might even look better. How cool is that? Look how beautiful that looks. That's awesome. And it did everything on its own. Now, this is not the final rendered copy. So of course, you know, it does. The quality isn't 10 out of 10 on here. But when I render it out, it will look beautiful. Now, remember, I was talking about all those random effects and things that you can go and get. Well, it comes with a variety of effects. So these are your basic effects, like this crazy one called glass. I'm just going to show you guys how ridiculous this one looks. So if you want to use something like that, I don't know why, but yeah, you can go ahead and feel free to do so. But the ones that you'll actually be using is these transitions, and they have some really sick transitions. Like here's one where it twists into the next one. My favorite is this one. This is so seamless. So we're going to go from the music video, and we're going to give it a second to process that. And then afterwards, I'm going to play it. And just like that, look at that. Look how cool that transition was. It literally took water and then it like swooshed across the screen. How sick is that? Seamless. That's the way we like it. And they have a bunch of these. So if you want to use Ripple or if you want to use Disintegrate, it's all in there. You can also add a title card and they have some really modern title cards. So if you're doing a vlog on YouTube or something of those sorts, then this is definitely the way you want to go. Look at this really, really like I, I swear every YouTuber uses this. So we're going to just throw it on here as our beginning clip. And then here's the really cool part. You just go and edit the text as you want. Edit. And we're just going to guess what I'm going to type. I'm going to type the text. There you go. And I don't like that forever, so we're just going to delete that. Go on. And you can resize this as you wish. So if you want to make it a little bit smaller, you can take individual parts and center it just the way you want. And afterwards, you simply hit play, and it should play just like that. Wow, that looked like it was meant to be like that. And because it needs to end right here where that, you know, the little light flashes, we're going to end it right here. But, you know, maybe it's not perfect yet. Maybe we want to throw a transition on there somehow. Actually, it is perfect. Never mind. Well, if you wanted to throw a transition on there, you can throw the little ripple thing on there as well. How cool is that? Now, if you guys remember, I went ahead and talked about all these different, like, uh, packs that they include as well. So if you want to go ahead and meddle with those, you can go ahead and do so. And here's their intro video. So if you want to add a cool little intro for YouTube, they have intros built directly into here. And so I would simply take it and drag and drop. So let's see which one would go with this video. Let's take futuristic and afterwards. 
you do have to give it a second to install so I just installed glitch and now I can take this and include it as my intro intro even though we already low-key have one and let's see how this looks how cool is that that's so awesome so basically our video right now looks something like this I'm gonna hit play and as you can see it says subscribe and it jumps right into edit the text and they have so many other random things you can edit. They have little sound effects like heartbeats and laugh tracks and keyboards. They have music directly built into here, so you can use these for YouTube, rock and roll, rock, depending on what type of vibe you're going for. They even have these little sample videos, so if you want to just play around and learn the application, you can use these. And last but not least, they have cool little backgrounds like the seashore, which kind of looks like my drone footage, so we could toss that into here as well. And just like that, we have a full-on JPEG that we can use as an outro and throw on a little tiny text on there, and we are pretty much set to go. So I'm going to go ahead and install one of these real quick. So let's say I went and purchased the technology set. So you simply start it up and afterwards you input your activation code. So we're going to hit install and I'm going to type in my activation code. Don't try taking this code. You can get your own in the link below because it's not going to work and enjoy new content. Just like that, we have a variety of brand new things that were added and it'll have a little exclamation point wherever new things were added. So as you can see, we have a brand new meteor transition. So, you know, if we want a meteor to come and destroy me while I was just, you know, just sitting, minding my own business, we can go through and do that. So I'm gonna just take this and we're gonna toss it up here and let's see if a meteor appears. Oh gosh, this is some, all right, now, now we're testing how the processing on this software is. Let's see if it lags. All right, we're just going to start it up right here, and let's see if it lags. Nope. Perfect. All right, this is some pretty awesome software right here. So with that said, uh, we also have a lightsaber effect, so let's see what exactly that does. Pretty sick. Um, and then there's a bajillion different ones. So we have this cool little effect, and, and we also have pixel cascade. Um, there's gates. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. So you could actually take this and let's say we were to just make a bunch of splits um, because I want to chop up my footage and make it just a little bit more interesting. Uh, also, by the way, control B to add splits. That might make life a little bit easier. So that's a split. That's a split. That's a split. And then in each different one, I could go and throw in a different transition. So transition there, transition there, transition here. And so when I go and play, it'll look absolutely insane. But, you know, you're getting the gist of what it would actually look like when you place it onto your own video. How cool is that? So what else do we have? We have a few more in here. We have IT. So there's something like we have the rocket. Whoa, that would make a really cool transition. Maybe not for this video, but I could like, there's options. There's also like worms. This is cool. Like it's, it's not weird like I thought it would be. There's condition. And these are all part of the pack. And there's a bajillion different packs that you can go and purchase on their website. This one's really simple. I like it. It's kind of cute. And then there's this one right here, also kind of cute. So these are kind of nice. And then not only do you get those, but you also get yourself your custom title pack. So for example, the Blockbuster comes with its own main title pack. There you go. How cool is that? And I could throw this right here. And this could be a cool little intro for this particular video. How sick is that? It actually looks like it's meant to be there. Pretty awesome. But here's the thing, we don't have something for the end of our video, so let's toss this onto the end and see what it looks like. So this is basically my after credits, and so let's see who directed this particular video. I'm going to play it from right here. Remember that image we added just a second ago? That'll be my after credits, and let's see if it renders out. And there you go. So we'd be able to go and customize the names and everything on those, and it would just magically appear right at the end, just like this. When it renders out, it'll be a little bit easier. I have a lot of things on here now, and now my computer's starting to like not be as nice as it was. So what else do we have? I'm just gonna quickly go over some of the other things. Here's a few more title things they have. IT has a few more of their own titles. These are kind of ridiculous. I don't know when I would ever use these, but it's there for you, quality assurance. Why not? If you're making a company video, these are kind of simplistic and cool. And then last but not least, they have ones for science because why not this is true science as they call it how cool is that I like the background that they worked with last but not least they also have a few stickers that come with this I don't know when I'm gonna be using stickers but if you want to toss them on uh, we'll have the Wi-Fi sticker right here we also have a local network sticker so these are a lot really like when they said technology these are really techy but if you're working on like a company video or something these icons could come in really really handy so on all guys the last thing left to do is we're gonna go and take our absolutely absurd video on tech and we're gonna just call it that and you can export it to mp4 AVI MOV and a variety of other things like MKV don't export to MKV and don't export an AVI you will end up with a massive file export an mp4 or MOV 
for if you're on Mac and you should be good to go. But you can also export an audio. You can export it rendered down for your iPhone or Android device, and you can share it even directly to YouTube. Google Drive or Vimeo so it is about as simple as it can possibly get you can choose the quality highest high or good if you choose good it will render faster and you can choose advanced settings or in here like the frame rate and the bit rate so if you're rendering for Instagram definitely take the bit rate down a little bit and you should be set to go on all guys hopefully you enjoyed this video if so leave a like and don't forget to subscribe thank you guys for watching this is going to be me logging off